Hello everyone, come back. Uh, in this experiment, we shall be studying uh, LDR characteristics, light dependent resistance. LDR stands for light dependent resistor, whose resistance depends on the intensity of light that falls on it. It depends inversely on the intensity. I mean, if the, resist the intensity of the light is increased, the resistance decreases. The resistance decreases because for every photon that incidents on the semiconducting material that is used to manufacture the LDR creates an electron hole pair that in turn resulting more number of electron hole pair to be available for the current conduction as the intensity of the light increases. Hence the conductivity increases in other words the resistance decreases. In this experiment we shall be using uh, an LDR and a bulb. Uh, these two wires are for the LDR. Uh, I hope all of you have, can, you have seen the LDR. These two are for the LDR. I will connect these two to one of the power supply. Uh, and there we have another pair of uh, wires here, both black. They are used for the bulb. Okay, I have already connected one of them to the positive terminal of one of the power supply. I'll be using this for the bulb and this for the LDR. Whichever you use for the bulb is the voltage is varied to change the current through the bulb enter in other words or in uh, with that will change the intensity of the light and before you switch on the power supply remember keep the course minimum fine minimum current limit maximum course minimum fine minimum current limit maximum okay now I have connected bulb here and there are two milliameters used this I'll be using for to measure the current through the bulb this I'll be using to measure the current through the LDR the, I will connect the LDR to this power supply and I will maintain the voltage of this power supply to be fixed say 10 volt you can do the experiment with whatever the volt voltage you would like but I'll be using uh, 10 volt for LDR that will be maintained fixed constant throughout the LDR here you have two separate simple circuits one bulb circuit another LDR circuit first let's do one after another the bulb one terminal of the bulb has been connected to the positive terminal another terminal of the bulb is connected to uh, the milliameter ammeter and to which terminal whether should I connect it to the common or to the amps Remember, this is coming from the positive, positive to the bulb and this is positive. Hence, this should be treated as positive. Hence, it should be connected to the amps. Otherwise, not a, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, you will only see negative values in the screen, but you should not do it. Okay. And the other terminal is connected back to this terminal through this wire. Okay. This... This completes the one of the circuit, bulb circuit. Very simple. You have only three items. Power supply, bulb and current meter. Okay. In the other circuit, again you have three items. LDR, current meter, power supply. And one of the terminal of the LDR is connected to the positive terminal of the power supply. And again... LDR being a resistance has no polarities you can connect anything to the positive anything to the negative but while connecting the current meter you have to be careful about the polarities again this has been connected to the positive hence this should be connected to the positive terminal of the current meter L milliameter used to measure the current hence I am connecting this to the positive terminal see I am connecting it this to the positive terminal. The negative terminal of this current meter is connected back to the negative terminal of the power supply. This one. Okay. This is, that's it. We have a very simple circuit. And now let us switch on. Switch on the power supply. Switch on the power supply. And fix the old current switch on the current meter
and this current meter also ok now you have to set the voltage for the power supply that has been connected with the LDR to be 10 volt I am setting it as 10 volt this one this one I will set it as 10 volt that is going to be maintained constant throughout the experiment initially go slow and then you can use as soon as you ne come near 10 you can use the fine knob to increase the voltage slowly and fix it at the 10 ok this is 10 volt now this will be varied and corresponding current will be noted down ok now let us keep this to be say 0 0.5 volt keep it at 0.5 for small voltages I will be using fine to adjust Point 0.5 volt for 0.5 volt note down the current here as well as here the current here corresponds to the current through the bulb and the current here is the current through LDR here it is 0 0.7 1.37 36 39 1.40 such fluctuations will be there nothing to worry uh, you can note it down whatever the value in that range ok and then maintain the voltage to be 1 volt as we increase the voltage here the, this is the voltage being supplied to the bulb hence the amount of the light emitted by the bulb will also increase which in turn the resistance decreases the resistance of the LDR as the resistance of the LDR decreases the current increases see that the current has got increased ok 0.8 slowly increase the current instead of 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt or 1 volt, 1.5 volt, 2.5 volt and as the current increases you can note down the resist current in through the LDR is increasing. Increasing current indicates decreasing resistance. Note down the current for different values of the voltages applied to the load and sorry applied to the bulb using the this voltage and the calculated sorry amount of the current flowing through the bulb you can calculate uh, the intensity of the light emitted by the bulb and correspondingly we will also know the current through the resist the LDR as well as the voltage across the LDR through which you can calculate the resistance of the LDR together you will know the resistance of the LDR for various values of the incident intensities of the light ok Hence, a graph of uh, uh, log of resistance along y axis, log of intensity along x axis is termed as LED, yes, sorry, LDR characteristics, using which you can calculate the dark resistance as well as the material constant of the LDR. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope this might be helpful for you.